Greetings, my name is Torden, and this is Advanced Voxelmancy 201, in which we talk about slopes and how to create them using the point wedge. To start off with, we're going to actually use the Place Voxel tool and hit the E key a couple of times to get to the triangle, go up a couple of points. I'm going to place this here, and then we're going to talk about it a little bit. If I were to go over here and grab a reactor and place it around this, you'll see that the corners of the top two corners right here are actually, by the place voxel tool, placed right in the center of the slope there. Now, because of the way that voxels work in dual universe, they're not actually in the center. They are um, one pixel out from center. There is, or half a pixel really, out from center. There is no way to get to the exact center of the voxel using the tools at hand. So um, in my preference, uh, there's a better way. So if we take our perfect corner, so if we go over here and we grab our, our corner and we place it down right here, this, this black one is the corner. So if we take the corner and we place it there, and then we place it, uh, we rotate it and place it again, and rotate it and place it again, and rotate it and place it again, and then uh, mirror that down to the bottom right there, you see that if we place a cube right in the middle of this, we get a standard cube, all right? But we don't want to, so instead we're gonna take those top two corners and we're gonna remove them, and we're going to replace them with these green ones right here, which come up and paint them there. And then if we paste a voxel in the center, you see we get a triangle that looks like this. All right. And all we've done now is instead of taking these top two corners and place them in the center of the hypotenuse, we have uh, built a reactor that uses the corner, black corner there. Um, and the light green which pushes it up to meet that corner so that those two are in the same place and now we get a slope. If I go ahead and copy this and place it in the air and then go over and up one and place it again and over and up one and place it again and place it again uh, you see we get a nice smooth slope if I drop out of build mode. Uh, we get a, a really nice clean um, a really nice clean slope right here. All right, this is the 45 degree slope. Go back into build mode. I can paste again and spin this and I can place it in here. And so now we have a one voxel sized 45 degree slope. Now we don't always want a 45 degree slope. What if we want a different size slope? So if I take this, all right, um, and we're going to delete the voxel out from the center of it and delete these two corners again. So in this, in this first one, we took this and we brought them all the way down to match that, which creates a triangle or a 45 degree slope. Instead, we're going to bring it down halfway, which is the center of the voxel. So with the wedge, I count out, uh, if I'm working with the 1 8 wedge, um, I count out from zero out to eight this way and then from zero here out to eight this way and then out to eight this way. Uh, so our corner is four, 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 all right? And halfway point is actually four and then the middle right here, which would be a zero, all right? So if we count out one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and we grab right here, we bring this over here and we'll rotate it so that it matches the orientation. And we come up right here. You'll see that these, this reactor is pointing to the halfway point between the top and the bottom right there. All right. Uh, so basically what we want is this piece right here. All right. So we're going to go ahead and grab that. And place it right there. 
helps if I get it to the right place. All right, and then we're going to go ahead and mirror that and then do it again. Now, if we place a cube in the middle of that, we get a half a slope. All right. Well, if we place that in the air, that's part of a, this, this would be a one to one ratio. This is part of a two to one ratio. All right. But we need the other part. Well, the other part will go from this half voxel out to the point, right? Well, conveniently, we have the point, so we just grab this, go over here, place it there. Because of dominance, this will form this to meet it. So we have our points. If we were to just take this one back out again and place it in a reactor. Go ahead and grab a reactor from over here. Wrap it around this. And you see that these two are pushing this down halfway and these are pushing these down to meet right there. All right. So that's good. Now we can take this and we can replicate that. And we can do it again. And again, if we want to, we can rotate it, place it in here. And now we have a two to one ratio. And you can do this with basically any location. All right. The problem winds up being that there are some scenarios where there's no clear way to make something else be. So if I want to stack these on top of each other, there's places here where the voxels are um, trying to use the same space. So if I change the color of this and I bring it down right on top of this right there and I place this, you see it does this. Why? Because one of the because this voxel that was part of this slope is the same voxel as is created in the other one, right? The corners are being pushed down to meet this space. There's some ways to work around this, but it's basically that you have to push down a voxel from the top right here to fill in this hole. And uh, you can't do two different colors, but you can do, you know, uh, one color because you don't care at that point. So it takes a third voxel that's the one that would be in this space above this one, right? Um, and you push it down in, but again, you're filling in the space up top. So there's some idiosyncrasies that happen with trying to use that, but um, this is specifically how to make these slopes. So I'm gonna undo a couple of times here so we get back to uh, our slope right there. So let's say we want uh, the next stage out, right? So this one, we, we went to our half voxel point. Let's go up to, and we're gonna go ahead and grab this and come over here. And again, we're gonna rotate this so that we're in the same orientation and come up. And again, it's this one that we want. I'm going to go ahead and place it in the air there, mirror it, one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four. All right, so now we have that piece there. All right, and if I take our original piece here again, come over here, place it there. So now we have a different slope again all right we place this in the air right here right well okay that's good from if we go from our this is so you see this is a quarter of a voxel down right here if we take this one this one goes to the half voxel that's useful so now we can go there now we've got a, a slightly smoother slope I can't take this one here because that's going to bring it uh, make a steeper a steeper climb so we need the one quarter in the other direction well conveniently we have the right reactor for it we just need to turn it over so if we take this reactor and we were to turn it over all 
and we'll go ahead and invert it back that way so the orientation is the same. And, and again, the same principle. So we're taking this one right here, and we'll go ahead and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, place it, invert it, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, place in the air. Now we have those spots right there. Again, we're going to go ahead and... But what we really want is this spot right here, but down one voxel. But that really none of that matters right now because we're going to place it up against it. So we're just going to grab any any block right here that has uh, that has these the bottom two corners on the on the leading side, um, and go ahead and place that right there. So now we have and the, the the ones that mattered here was this one and this one and this one and this one, right? So we go ahead and we copy this out and we place it right there. You'll see it's going to shrink right down to match that. And then we have to get to our point. Okay, great. We copy this one and boom, there is our point. And again, we can replicate this. We go out to here. And we can go up one. And we can go up one. We can go up one. And if we want, we can fill in the underside. And so there we have several different slopes, one voxel sized, nice and smooth, clean. If you want an on-ramp or a wall that has a particular slope, you can build it in this fashion. This has been Advanced Voxel Mancy 201. See you next time.